English speaking course. There are some mistakes that English learners normally make. How about you? Do you make any of these common English speaking mistakes? Let's check it out with some multiple choices. Lend, borrow. Did you do your homework? We don't have homework, do we? Yes, we do. Mr. James sent us an email yesterday. Didn't you check it? Oh gosh, my mailbox didn't have any notifications. You should double check. We need to submit it by this afternoon. Can I borrow your tablet, please? I didn't bring it with me. Oh, does Layla have one? Yes. She can lend her laptop to you. Okay, let me ask her. Thanks. Me too. Me neither. Hey, I'm so glad to see you here. Me too. It's been a long time. Yes. We haven't seen each other since graduation day. I miss you so much. I miss you too. How's it going? Everything is good. And you? All good. Did you see Nancy here? No. Did you? Me neither. I wonder where she is. She must be busy with something. Since four. Hi, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I'm a new staff member here. I hope we can work well together. Sure, if you need any help, feel free to ask me. How long have you been working here? I don't remember exactly. I've been here since 2016. Wow, it's a long time. Yeah, I joined the company when it had only been open for three months. Eat, take medicine. How can I help you? I have a headache. I would like to have some medicine. Do you have any other symptoms? No, I just have a headache. How long have you had a headache? I've had this headache for two days. Have you taken medicine at home yet? Yeah, I took some medicine at lunchtime, but nothing is helping. Lay, lie. Wanna dance with me?
Sure. Let me lay down this bouquet. Okay. Wow, I like that song. Me too. The lyrics are okay, but listen to the beat. Yeah, the beat is incredible. I think I could dance to this song the whole day. But I'm a bit tired. I want to lie down. Yesterday night, last night. Hey, I didn't see you at Alex's birthday party. Didn't you attend? Yeah, I did, but I needed to leave early. What happened? Nothing serious. I had a stomach ache. Oh my gosh. Do you feel better now? Yeah, I'm okay now. I took a painkiller last night. You should go to the doctor for a checkup. You often get stomach aches. I think you're right. I'll make an appointment this weekend. Tell. Say. Linda, please give me the meeting report by today. Which report? The report of yesterday's meeting. I think Mr. John told you to do it. No, he told me to fix the brief of the project only. So who takes responsibility for the report? Do you know? I guess that is James. James talked to me about a report this morning. Okay, I will check with him. Thanks anyway. Don't mention it. Broken, torn. Hey, you should change your shirt. Why? What's wrong? Your shirt is torn. Oh my! Why is it torn like this? Maybe you walked by something sharp. Ah, I remember. There was a broken window. Mistake. Fault. The project failed. I'm so disappointed. Come on, it's not your fault. No, it's my fault. I made a mistake in the conclusion. Listen, you do your best. If I work harder, everything will be better now. You do everything you can. You just lacked some luck this time. Thanks. Thank you for comforting me. Do you have this confusion? If so, here are some ways to avoid these mistakes. Lend. Borrow. Ask yourself, which direction is this object moving? If an object is moving away from you, you're lending it. If an object is moving toward you, you're borrowing it. We lend something to someone, but we borrow something from someone. 
Me too, me neither. The difference between me too and me neither is that one is positive and the other one is negative. Since, for. For is the length or the duration of time something has been happening. Example, I have been a doctor for five years. Since is the point when something started happening, which is still happening today. Example, I have been a doctor since 2016. Eat, take medicine. In English, we don't use take to talk about drinking or eating. We just use it for medication and drugs. Lay, lie. Lay means to place something down flat. It is transitive and requires an object to act upon. As in, he lay down the bouquet of flowers. Lie means to be in a flat position on a service or intransitive and requires no object to act upon it. Example, I decided to lie down. You can use this mnemonic device as a memory tool. Lay, L-A-Y, P-L-A-C-E, place, lie, L-I-E, R-E-C-L-I-N-E, recline, tell, say, you say something. Example, he said to me that he was tired. You tell someone. Example, she told him to sit down. Mistake, fault. A mistake is an action or judgment that is accidentally wrong. Fault is a mistake for which you are to blame or weakness. Topic. To speak English fluently, we should use some common phrases. Let's watch the video to collect some useful common phrases for your daily English conversations. Check it out. Is there anything on at the theater tonight? Good evening. How can I help you? Hi. Is there anything on at the theater tonight? We have The Phantom of the Opera and Romeo and Juliet. The Phantom of the Opera is great. Yes, there are only a few slots left. What time does the play start? It starts at 9 p.m. Sure. By the way, when will the play end? It lasts two hours, so it ends at 11 p.m. Great. I would like to have two tickets, please. Sure. Here you are. Please arrive at least 10 minutes early. Thanks so much. My pleasure. Enjoy your day. It's a comedy. Good morning, how can I help you? I'm looking for a DVD movie. Yeah, you can find that DVD in the trending section cell. After looking at it, I am still unable to decide. Do you have any advice? How about this one? What is that? Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Hmm, that sounds like a comedy. Yeah, it is a comedy. It just restocked three days ago. Wow, it seems to be trending. Yeah, it has been a bestseller lately. Cool, I will take it. Who is in it? Would you like to go to the movie theater tonight? That's a great idea. Have you chosen a movie yet? I'm interested in two movies. What are they? The two films are Shazam and Everything, Everywhere, All at Once. What kind of production do they do? Everything, Everywhere, All at Once is a fiction movie. Shazam is a comedy and a superhero movie. I prefer Shazam. I love superheroes. Therefore, I will book two tickets for Shazam, okay? Okay. By the way, who's in it? You can't believe it. It's Zachary. Zachary? 
Yeah, Zachary Levi. He received critical acclaim for starring as Chuck Bartowski in the series Chuck. Makes no difference to me. I don't know him anyway. Have you seen it before? Hey, have you prepared for the slumber party tonight? Yeah, I bought some of our favorite foods. But my mom doesn't allow alcohol. It's okay, it doesn't matter. We still have class the next morning. What about you? My brother lent me his board games. Perfect, we can play until 10 p.m. Also, I choose a film for us. Which one? And with an E. Have you seen it before? Yeah, I did. Me too. Oh my. Do you have another option? What about Wolf Viking? That sounds great. Okay, we'll watch that one. What time does the performance start? I think we came too early. I don't know. No one is here. What time does the performance start? The ticket says 9 o'clock. That's weird. It is 9.10 a.m. already. There isn't even a ticket inspector. Should we ask reception? Yeah, let me ask her. Excuse me. Yeah? How can I help you? I have a ticket for nine, but I don't see anyone. Is there any problem? Can I have a look at it, please? Here you go. Your play is at 9 p.m. I think you misunderstood. Oh my gosh. Do you want to go to a club tonight? Today is Friday. Are you available? Yeah, I don't have any plans for the weekend. Do you want to go to a club tonight? I'm not feeling it today. That sucks. Do you want to go anywhere? Tonight? Yeah, it's too boring to stay at home on a Friday night. Do you want a cup of coffee? Okay. I will eat at McDonald's at 8. Do you want to join me? Okay, I will join you. Cool. Then we can go to a coffee shop together. It's been a long time since the last time I ate out. Is there a dress code? Hi, Lily. How are you? I'm all good. How are you? I'm fine. Just a little bit busy. Cool. Lily, Adam and I are getting married. Oh, wow. Congrats. When is your wedding? Thanks, Lily. It is next month. I'm so surprised. Congrats. I'm happy for you. Thank you so much. I would like to invite you to my wedding. I will come. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm planning to send you an invitation letter, but I still want to call you. Is there a dress code? It is pink and white. Wow, I love those colors. I hope you can come. I also have a bachelorette party next week. Do you have time? Yes, yes, I'm in for sure. Do you have any live music tonight? It is Ashtray Coffee. What can I do for you? Hi. Do you have any seats available tonight? As of now, some tables are still available. Great. Do you have any live music tonight? Yes. We have live music every Wednesday and Sunday. That's cool. I would like to have a table for two tonight. What time will you arrive, sir? Around 9 p.m. 
Okay. What is your name, please? I'm Tony. Tony Hopkins. Got it. Mr. Hopkins, you have a table for two at 9 p.m. at the Ashtray Coffee. Yes. Please come on time. After 15 minutes, we will cancel your booking. Thanks so much. Thanks. See you tonight. What do you think of the DJ? Wow, this bar is so cool. Yeah, I've tried many other bars, but this one is the best. I didn't know that. It's the first time I've come here. Enjoy. I bet you will want to come here often. Yeah, I think you would. What do you think of the DJ? This is great. Actually, I don't care much about the DJ. Really? Yeah, I just want a comfortable place to chill with my friends. I like this bar most because of the DJ. The drinks are also tasty. Yeah, and the view and the price, everything. Correct. The price is acceptable. The music's great. I'm happy you are here. Thanks for inviting me. I really like it here. Yeah, I'm glad you like it. Yeah, the music's great. David takes responsibility for the music. His vibe is so enjoyable. By the way, where is Peter? Isn't he with you? No, I'm here alone. Peter's on a business trip with a colleague, unfortunately. What a pity. Next time, bring him with you. Sure. He had bad luck this time. He missed an amazing party. Enjoy. Please make yourself at home. How much is it to get in? Hey, look at that. What? Do you see that coffee shop? Yes, what's up? It seems they have a workshop inside. Workshop? Yeah, do you want to go in and look around? Sure, if you want. Hi, what is this workshop? This is a candle-making workshop. How much is it to get in? The fee is $30. Can I take my handmade candles home? Absolutely, yes. In addition, you will also have some mini candles. That sounds great. Are there any available slots today? I would like to join. Unfortunately, we are full today. What a pity. All workshops are always on Wednesdays. You have to register at least one day in advance. I see. Thanks. Who's this painting by? I really like the paintings in this exhibition. Yeah. Though they are very young artists, their paintings are incredible. I cannot agree with you more. I will look around one more time. Sure. I also don't want to leave now. Hey, look at that painting. Which one? The lotus on the right hand. Yeah, why? I really like that one. Who is this painting by? I don't know. It doesn't look like it belongs to a new artist. Yeah, it is the best painting here. Let's take a closer look at it. How surprising. It belongs to a student named Lana. The museum's got a very good collection of oil paintings. Mm -hmm. 
Do you want to go to a museum with me tomorrow? Which one? Fine Art Museum on Main Street. Ah, I know it. Have you visited it yet? Yeah, once, but many years ago. Are there many magnificent paintings there? This museum's got a very good collection of oil paintings. Amazing. I love oil paintings. So do I. Do you think they still exhibit there? I don't know. I haven't visited it since the last time. So will you join me? Sure. I'm not busy tomorrow. Why not? Okay. I will pick you up at 9. Cool. See ya. Can I take photographs? Everyone, we have a ride. Thank you. Thank you. You have two hours of this destination. Sure. Sure. Please gather here before 4 p.m. If not, we could be late for the train. Okay. Okay. If you need any help, please let me know. I'm right here. I love that house. Can I take photographs? Absolutely, yes. You can take pictures of everything here. Really? Yeah. This is a tourist destination, so it is allowed. That's great. That is the oldest house in the city. Do you want to take a photo? Yes. Can you help us to take a picture, please? Sure. One, two, three. Cheese. Beautiful. Thanks. Where's the cloakroom? You look so fabulous today. You too. But I feel a bit hot now because of my coat. Yeah, the weather is getting hotter by the day. I want to take it off. You can then hang your coat in the cloakroom. Is there a cloakroom here? I think, yes. You can ask a waitress. Okay. Excuse me. Yes, how can I help you? Where's the cloakroom? My coat needs to be hung up. Ah, it is in the hallway. Which one, please? Just walk straight ahead and you can see that room on your left. Thank you. How do you know each other? Nice to meet you here. Nice to meet you too. Let me introduce you to Jack, this is Lily. Lily, this is Jack. Oh, Lily, I'm glad to see you here. Jack, I'm so surprised. What? How do you know each other? Lily and I are partners. Yeah, we collaborated sometime last year. That's right. Remember my fashion event last year. Yeah, I remember. She helped me so much. Really? Don't mention it. Jack is so professional in his work. So is Lily. Hopefully we have more chances to work together this year. I hope so. I was born in Australia, but grew up in England. Hey, Alex, where did you live before moving in here? I lived in the United Kingdom. So you are English? No, I'm Australian. Why? I was born in Australia, but grew up in England. My dad is an Australian. Why did you move to the United States? It's because of my dad's business. He just opened a branch here. Wow, he must be a great businessman. Yeah, he is the person I admire most. So how long will you stay here? I don't know. 
It depends on my dad's business. At least two years, I think. How long are you planning to stay here? Jenny, why are you here? I'm so surprised. Grandma, I miss you so much. I miss you too. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? I'm great. Why are you here? I'm on my vacation. Then I decided to come here. How long are you planning to stay here? I haven't made any plans. I want to stay here for at least two weeks. Great. You can move into my house. We can live together. You are so kind, but I'm living in a hostel with my friend. I wish you were here. I will often visit you. No worries. Promise? Yeah, I promise. Have you got any pets? Phoebe speaking. Who is this? Hi, Phoebe. I'm Linda. I'm calling to ask about a room for rent. Ah, yes. It is still available. Yeah. Would you mind if I ask some questions? Absolutely not. Go ahead. How many people are there in the house? Only me. I am looking for one more housemate. That's great. I'm a quiet person, so I prefer a house with under four people. Me too. Have you got any pets? Yeah, I have a cat. Are you allergic to animal fur? No, I also have a cat. That's great. My Bob is going to have a new friend. Oh, your cat's name is Bob. Mine is Plum. Only for the exhibition. Look at it. That's an amazing watch. Yeah, it looks gorgeous. I want to have it. It must be extremely expensive. I should check the price with the staff. Excuse me, I would like to buy that watch. Which one, please? That one. Model NH270. I'm so sorry. That is not for sale. Not for sale. Yeah, only for the exhibition. Its owner doesn't want to sell it. What a pity. It is the most wonderful watch here. I'm so sorry. I can't help you more. It's okay, thank you. My pleasure. Have you got any paracetamol? Good evening. How can I help you? I would like to buy some medicine. Sure. Do you have a doctor's prescription? No, I haven't had time to meet the doctor yet. I would like to buy some medicine to relieve the symptoms before the appointment. So what are your symptoms? I have a headache and a slight fever. Have you gotten any paracetamol? Not yet. Do you have a cough or a runny nose? No, but my throat hurts so bad. Okay, I will give you some medicine, but you should go see a doctor soon. Thanks. Please give me instructions also. Sure, everything is in the bag. Are you feeling any better? Good morning, Thomas. Hi, good morning. Are you feeling any better? My head doesn't hurt anymore, but I still feel a bit tired. That is great news. Let me check your temperature. Okay, I don't think I have a fever. You are right. You're going to be discharged from the hospital soon. When can I be discharged from the hospital? Do you know? It depends. On? 
Today, you will do some tests. If the results are good, you can be discharged on Friday. That's great. Here's the medicine for today. Okay. You should take it after meals. Sure, I remember. Get well soon. Hey, Lily. Hi, Linda. How do you feel? I'm better now. Thank God your pain is not too serious. Yeah, I'm glad you are here with me. Don't mention it. Let me sit up. No, no, you shouldn't move. It makes your pain worse. Okay. When will you be discharged from the hospital? The doctor didn't say anything. I need to do more tests to make sure that everything is fine. Okay, I hope everything is good. So do I. Who will be here with you tonight? I'm fine. I can be here alone. Do you want me to be here with you? You are so kind, but I think I'm okay, to be honest. Okay, get well soon. Do you know where there's an all-night pharmacy? Hi, how can I help you? I need to buy some medicine. Do you know where there's an all-night pharmacy? There is only one 24-hour pharmacy in this town, but it is so far away. It's okay. My friend has a stomach ache. I need to buy her something. Okay, it is on the main street. How can I get there? You go straight ahead, then turn right at the second crossroads. Okay. Then you will see a big building on the left. Turn left. That pharmacy is 200 meters away. Oh, it is hard to remember. Can you help me to call a taxi? Sure. Please wait a few seconds. I will call you when he arrives. Have you got anything to help me stop smoking? I just met the doctor this morning. Oh, what happened? I just wasn't feeling good, so I went to the hospital to have a health check. What is the result? All good, except my lungs. What is the problem? I don't really understand it much, but they advised me to give up smoking. For sure, smoking is not good for anyone. Have you got anything to help me stop smoking? No, you should go to a drugstore and ask them. Okay, I want to quit as soon as possible. But you know, to stop smoking, the most important thing is your determination. Yeah, I understand. You need two fillings. Hi, what brings you here today? My tooth is in pain. I can't even eat or sleep. Okay, I see. When was your last dental checkup? I don't remember. Perhaps last year. You know, you should have a dental checkup twice a year. Yeah, I understand. When did it start hurting? Yesterday, but it hurts so bad. Okay, now open your mouth, please. I will check your tooth right now. Sure, thank you. A bit wider, please. That doesn't look good. Is it too serious? Your tooth has decayed. Will you have to remove it? No, you need two fillings. Could you read out the letters on the chart, starting at the top? Morning! How can I help you today? I want to have an eye test. My vision is not really good recently. Okay. I think I have myopia. Let me check your eyes. Now come closer and look through this machine. 
Sure. Now please cover your left eye. Okay. Could you read out the letters on the chart, starting at the top? A, D, P, Q, and E. Great. Try this line. I cannot read them. You have myopia. You need glasses. Do you sew sunglasses? Good afternoon. What can I do for you today? Hi, do you sell sunglasses? Yes, we do. You can see our models on this shelf. Sure. Are you going to get metal or plastic frames? I'm not sure. Okay, try these. How do you feel? No, I don't really like them. How about these? Can I try this one, please? Absolutely, yes. Ooh, look at these. Don't I look great? Yes, you look amazing. How much are they? $50. Okay, I will take them. Let me clean them and wrap them in a box. Thanks. In deep water. Why didn't you attend the meeting yesterday? I wanted to go, but I overslept. When I woke up, it was late. So you decided not to go? Yeah. It's too weird if I enter when they're speaking. But you know it was an extremely important meeting. Don't make it too serious. I think it is similar to the other meeting earlier in the month. You are wrong. The leader was angry because there were many members absent. Really? Not only me? Yeah, not only you. He's going to have a punishment for you. I am beginning to feel that I am getting in deep water. In the nick of time. Quickly, we are going to be late. I'm coming now. I forgot the key in the bathroom. We just have one hour left. No worries. It only takes ten minutes to travel to the airport. This is rush hour. We cannot know how long it takes. Okay, I'm done. Let's go. Pass me that hat in case it is sunny outside. Here you are. Did you call a taxi yet? I did. He's waiting for us in front of the gate. Let's go! We've arrived, thank God. We got here in the nick of time. Food and beverage. Summer is here and it's hot outside. Yeah, it makes me want to eat ice cream. What's your favorite drink in the summer? Uh, I always drink horchata in summer. It's refreshing and tasty. What is horchata? Horchata is a sweet and usually dairy-free beverage made of soaked grains or nuts and seeds. That sounds good. I like iced strawberry smoothies for summer. And I like any iced beverages in summer. They are all great. Michelle, you look thinner. Are you losing weight? Yes. I also want to lose weight, but I really like food. How many meals a day do you think we should eat? The healthiest way to eat throughout the day is to have two or three meals. Correct. Or you can split meals during the day, as long as the dishes are healthy. I see. Is your mother a vegetarian, David? Yes, she's a vegetarian. 
Do you remember Julia? Yes, of course. She's a vegetarian too, and she has a great body. She said that she is vegetarian because her family is vegetarian. She also said that everyone has the right to choose their own food. Correct. Like me, I don't think I can be a vegetarian. I love the complexity of flavors and the heat that Thai dishes bring. I once ate a Penang curry beef in Bangkok that changed my life. What country's food do you like the most? I love Greek food. They all entertain my palate. I ate a Spanakopita in Athens that left me speechless. That sounds good. What country's food do you like the most, Josh? American cuisine. It's filled with clever adaptations from other countries and also has uniqueness in the dishes. It's like having the cuisine of 20 countries inside a single nation. Makes sense. I have a family gathering this weekend. I will prepare dinner with my mother and sister. Do you think about color when you prepare a meal? Of course. The food color and visual appeal are very important. There are nutritionists who tell us to include all colors of veggies and fruits in our food. Thank you. I'll think about it for the family party. By the way, next month is my girlfriend's birthday. I want to celebrate her birthday at a restaurant. What restaurant in this city do you recommend? I recommend Taranga Restaurant. The food is seriously good, the atmosphere is romantic, and the staff is very nice. I visited there once. These noodle soups, there are so fine, and colorful cocktails will cool you down in summer. Great! I'll go there. Thanks! Free time and hobbies. Hey, do you have a hobby? Yes, of course. Yeah, everyone has hobbies. What are your hobbies? Reading books. Sounds boring. Oh. You know, books are a perfect source of knowledge that help me to learn more about the world. And books are the best way for me to unwind after a long day at work. I see. What are your hobbies, Mary? My hobby is cooking. I like to decorate my food beautifully. I also like to make snacks, such as cakes, candies, and jam. Yeah, you cook really well. I love the food you cook. I'm happy to hear that. Do you usually cook on weekdays or only on weekends? I usually cook on weekends. Because I'm free all Sunday, I don't have to work that day. Do you have any free time on Sundays, Ethan? Well, yes and no. I'm a freelancer, so I work all week, but I can arrange my free time. My free time can be Sunday or any other day of the week. How do you like to spend your free time? Going shopping, playing sports, or relaxing? Mostly, I spend my free time indoors. But I do love traveling, so I do it when I can. Yesterday, I got bored and decided to travel to Brighton Beach. Oh, really? Yeah. Why didn't you ask us to go with you? I thought you were busy because yesterday was Friday. You're right. How do you like to spend your free time, Mary? I like drawing and painting in my free time. I feel much more relaxed. 
that's like meditation for me. Painting not just gives my brain an extra boost, but also helps me communicate better and relax. Who do you often spend your free time with? I often enjoy my free time alone. I don't like parties. I thought you liked crowded places. No. Spending time with the same people and talking about the same old memories I once shared together with a cup of coffee is all I need. I have a friend who likes to gossip about others. That makes me very uncomfortable. Do you like gossiping in your free time? I don't like to talk about other people, but honestly, I sometimes gossip about celebrities with you and my friend. Yeah. I would rather lie in or just listen to some music than gossip about others. Me too. So, how do you think you will feel if you are gossiped about? I would gradually prove what they said about me was all wrong with my attitude and behaviors. How about you, Ethan? I don't really care about what they're talking about me, so I feel nothing special. I wouldn't do anything. If the rumors are not true, time will finally prove them all. I like your way of thinking. I've been so busy lately, I wish I had more time. Yeah, if I had more free time, I would go jogging to improve my health and well-being. You can still schedule your time and jog to improve your health now. I will. If you had more free time, what would you do with it? Learn a new language. It boosts your brain power, sharpens your memory, and improves memory while opening up wider career prospects. If I had more free time, I would learn a new language too. Fashion and style. What are you reading? I'm reading a fashion magazine. Do you often read fashion magazines? Yes, I often read fashion magazines. I have the stress of deciding what to wear. Reading fashion magazines can help me coordinate clothes and choose the right style for me. Do you read fashion magazines? Yes, I enjoy looking at pretty clothes, beautiful models, and cool styles. Do you think it is important to wear fashionable clothes? Yes, of course. Wearing fashionable clothes is an expression of loving yourself. What do you think? Well, I think it depends on how you define loving yourself. For some people, it may be important to wear fashionable clothes to feel confident and stylish. Others may prefer to dress more simply and comfortably. You're right. Do you like shopping for fashionable clothes? No, my style is simple, you know. I guess you love shopping for new clothes, right? Yes, most of the time I buy clothes. I get bored easily, so I always want to see a new me every day. Going shopping helps me improve my mood, so I go whenever I can. A bad habit, I know. You must have a lot of nice clothes. Yes, I have a variety of clothes. I love to wear different clothes on different occasions, like birthday parties, weddings, and festivals. Do you have a lot of nice clothes? To me, all the clothes I have are nice. I see. Do you prefer brand name clothes? Actually, branded or not for me is fine, as long as I'm comfortable wearing it. I prefer buying branded clothes since they are better made and better designed. I always go for quality first. I also don't think that all branded clothes are expensive. Yes, I know. I can find a lot of branded yet affordable clothes in places. That's right, I sometimes buy branded clothes which are on sale. 
I don't mind the thought that I'm buying them at a cheaper price. Do you think that the clothes we wear reflect what is inside us, Olivia? Of course not. Your clothes reflect how you want to see yourself and be seen by the world around you. But it reflects part of your self-image, your class, and often your lifestyle too. But don't confuse any of this with what may be inside of people, their personality. You can't draw any conclusion about a person's intelligence, morals, or character from clothes. I see. What about the difference between fashion and style? Are you interviewing me about fashion? I just want to understand you better. And I like your point of view about fashion. I think style refers to a person's particular way of expressing themselves. How about fashion? Fashion refers to trends nowadays being featured in magazines, on TV, and on social media. Your style is not outstanding, I'm sorry to say that. But your way of thinking about fashion is cool. I'll take that as a compliment. That is a compliment. Holiday and vacation. Summer's here. I want to go to the beach. Yeah, me too. Do you like holidays? Of course. It's perfect to relieve stress, get away from it all, and enjoy life. How about you? Do you like it? Yes, I do. It's a great opportunity for me to wind down, get together with my family, or hang out with friends. But if the holidays are short, I stay home to read books and clean my house. Have you ever been abroad, Peter? I've never been abroad, but I would love to. My family planned to go abroad next year. How about you? I've been abroad four times. Really? Did you like it? Yes, I did. It was exciting. Which countries did you visit? Finland, Sweden, Great Britain, and Germany. Wow! And what country was the most interesting? All countries are interesting, but maybe it was Sweden for me. Why? Not only does it have an amazing culture, but it is also filled with beautiful scenery, good food, and very nice people. In addition, it looks beautiful in all seasons. If you could travel anywhere, where would you go? I would pick either Egypt or Japan. Both countries are amazing and left an amazing impression on me. Especially Japan, without a second thought. Japan? Yeah, Japan is one of the most beautiful countries in the world. Japan is very clean. Streets and buildings look spick and span. And people are very hardworking, intelligent, accepting, and resourceful. Do you prefer to travel alone or in a group? I prefer to travel with my friends or my family. How about you? I would say that I'm kind of an introvert. So I would rather travel alone to some peaceful beauty spots than travel with a group of people. But traveling with other people would certainly be safer. And we can support as well as rely on each other. You're right. It is a good way to make friendships stronger and become more powerful. It's also good for learning more about your friends and sharing experiences together. I know, but I prefer to travel alone. Do you prefer active or relaxing holidays? I love going on adventures, exploring the area, and finding thrill-seeking activities. Right, you love adventures. How about you? Relaxing holidays, of course. I love to relax and do some chill activities like reading books or meditation. You really love to take your time and relax, don't you? Well, can't argue with that. 
Which is better, a package tour or a self-organized trip? I prefer to join package tours. Why? I thought you would enjoy a self-organized trip. Joining package tours can help us save money and help us build a friendship. And because I don't like to book things. I don't like to join package tours. Really? I thought you'd like it. I hate to need to follow guidelines and have a strict schedule all the time. When I travel on my own, I can stay longer in the place I like or skip the one I'm not interested in. Yeah, that suits you better. Dreams and Goals I haven't seen you in a while. Yes, it's been a long time. Where are Julie and the kids? They're going to the supermarket to buy ingredients to make dinner for us. Oh, that's so lovely. How are you studies these days? Everything is good so far. Matthew, what was your dream when you were a child? Why are you curious about that? Just tell me, I want to know. Hmm, okay, let's see. The first dream that I remember having was that I wanted to be a pilot. That, of course, never happened to me. Between the ages of 12 to 15 years old, my dream was to become a teacher. But you didn't. I know. Between the ages of 16 to 20 years old, I dreamed of being a well-known, well-paid writer. And it came true, didn't it? Well, not quite. I'm a writer now, but not that famous. Come on! You have a loyal fan base on your Facebook page and your blog. You've self-published two books as well. Yes, two books and I'm still writing. That's so great. In my early 20s, my dream was to be that guy. A guy who had a yard with his kids playing in it while he and his wife cooked dinner on the grill. Your dream has come true. Yes, I do have a yard, a grill, and I do have a wife with three kids. So what was your dream when you were a child? I dreamed to be a policewoman or a journalist when I was a kid. After many years, I wanted to be a tour guide or interpreter. Now you're studying at university in the foreign languages facility. Yes. Do you have a five-year plan for your life? No, I don't. Do you have a five-year plan? Yes, of course. Can you show me how you create a five-year plan? Okay, the first thing, consider aspects of your life. What are they? Finances, health, career, relationships, and personal development. Can you explain them specifically? Let's talk about finances. You need to consider your income, debt, savings, and investments. Are there new income streams you want to create? What are your plans for spending? Do you want to purchase a house? Wait a minute, I need to take notes. How about the health plan? You can ask yourself these questions. What do you need to do to stay healthy? How would the other aspects affect your health? I see. About your career, let's answer these questions. Where do you want to be working? What do you want to be doing? What is your dream job? Those are good questions. About your personal development. Does your hobby help you develop yourself? What would you like to learn or become? Are there any relationships you'd like to create or dissolve? Something like that. These questions are really helpful. Yes, I use those to make my plan. I've already written down those questions. I'll answer them. Once you've completed that, begin the process of making a plan for your future. Thanks, Matthew. 
that all you need to do is create a habit little by little to achieve your goals. I know. Goals are easy to achieve if we can create the right habits. That's right. Animals and pets. This weekend, I will take my niece to the zoo. She loves animals. She said that she would have a pet when she grew up. Do you like animals? To be honest, I only like friendly animals such as dogs, cats, rabbits, and birds. I consider them humans friends. Would you ever consider getting a pet? Yes, but now I'm living in an apartment and our landlady doesn't allow us to keep pets in our units. Why? She doesn't want to hear noises from dogs or cats. Well, there's nothing I can do but obey the rule. But when I have my own house, I will definitely have a pet. What animals would you like to have as pets? Well, like most people love having, I want dogs. I love dogs because they are loyal and playful. Yes, that's right. Do you have a pet, Wendy? Yes, I have a dog. Oh, can you show me a picture of your pet? Yes, certainly. My memory of him opening his tiny twinkling eyes for the very first time on the 29th of May, 2018. He is so cute. He was a gift to my family. He is a living joy to us. What's his name? I named him Joey. He never gets tired of listening to my endless stories. He listens so patiently. He loves me unconditionally and he is someone I love so much. That's so sweet. Aww. Do you have a pet, Alex? Yes, definitely. I'm an animal lover. I have two rabbits. Where did you get them from? I adopted them from their previous owner. Is it difficult to have a rabbit as a pet? Not for me. But rabbits require a lot more care than you think. Like what? I'll show you all about rabbit care when you're making a serious decision about having one. Why did you choose to raise rabbits? Rabbits are amazing and social pets. They can be great house pets if you take the time to socialize with them and learn about their basic body language. I see. Have you known anyone that had a snake as a pet? Yes, my uncle has two snakes. Really? Yep. Why does he keep a snake as a pet? He said snakes are just fascinating creatures. Their food is relatively cheap to come by in most cases. That's true. Snakes don't need to be walked like dogs. They're quiet animals. No barking, screeching, or anything like that. That's right. Cleaning is less than you would need to do with cats, dogs, or even turtles. Some people think that it is annoying to keep a pet at home. What do you think? You need to feed them, clean their feces, and clean up their fur all over the house. But I think pets can be awesome to have. Yeah. They bring that joy and pleasure other humans cannot. That's right. They love you unconditionally and will be by your side no matter what. That's if you have the responsibility to handle and take care of them. I agree with you guys. Don't forget to practice your English every day to improve your English level. Watch the video for one week. Try to think and speak in English every time. Listen and repeat the lesson out loud to improve your listening and speaking skills fast. Thanks for watching. Please give us a like, share, and comment. Click here for more useful videos.